Hello YouTube, today I wanted to talk about vinyl. For me, one of the simplest pleasures is simply sitting down and enjoying music. I still love physical media. I love to actually hold on to a piece of music, look at the jacket, look at the artwork, and of course, vinyl has made a huge comeback in recent years. I started purchasing vinyl records about 10, 12 years ago. And of course, back then my selection was small just because people weren't producing vinyl records in uh, 2010, 2011 when I started kind of getting back into that vinyl culture. Today, vinyl has absolutely exploded. It is the hottest form of physical media that you can currently buy. In fact, companies are having a hard time keeping up and it sort of caused the supply to be uh, lower than the demand, which has also caused the price of vinyl to go way, way up. Now, I personally do not subscribe to the notion that records are superior form of music listening. They sound amazing and no one's denying that. Uh, there is something about that needle touching the vinyl and you sitting there and watching it spin and listening to this really well crafted and well recorded music on a purely analog format. However, I do think that digital files sound amazing and WAV files sound amazing. With that, I was going to briefly talk about my favorite vinyl subscription service, which happens to be currently Vinyl Moon. I like to support the artist by purchasing the music. I always have. In fact, last week was the first time I ever purchased Apple Music. That's right, I just purchased Apple Music in May of 2023. I've never had an Apple Music subscription or any music subscription for that matter because I've always enjoyed purchasing the music to support the artist. I had the Apple subscription because I ended up bundling it with a bunch of other Apple products. However, I still purchase music, even the digital music in the Apple iTunes store to the artists that I really like and I really want to support. What Apple Music is going to allow me to do is listen to new artists without committing and purchasing right off the bat, which is another thing that I end up doing with the subscription like Vinyl Moon. Vinyl Moon is not going to be a record club subscription for everyone. It is not going to carry all of your classic artists. They're not repressing classic analog, all analog music. What they're doing is they're making a mixtape with WAV files curated from a bunch of different artists across the globe. I love it because their art and their attention to detail on these mixtapes is absolutely astonishing. It is incredible to sit down put that record on, pull out the sleeve art, and then read about these different artists. They give you all the information about these bands from across the globe. It's astounding, and it's somewhat addictive. Now, to give you a quick rundown of what you would find in my studio, I do not have a very fancy stereo setup. I have a Tech TN300 record player that I purchased years ago online. I have a Cambridge Audio receiver. It's the AXR85. I have a CD player from Cambridge Audio, which is the AXC35. And then those are going into some very inexpensive Polk Audio T15 bookshelf speakers. And then I have a Bestison 50 watt subwoofer that I got on Amazon. It's okay. Now I will say this, uh, my stereo store of choice in the Memphis area is Hawford Speakers. He is incredible. He builds some insane speakers right here in Memphis himself. And uh, I'm gonna save some money. I really do wanna get some of his speakers. I haven't been able to pull the trigger on that yet. However, I did buy a lot of my other stereo equipment, including my Cambridge Audio gear from him directly. And he's very good on his prices and he has customer service that is second to none. The Vinyl Moon subscription model is very unique in several ways. It is, like I said earlier, a mixtape club essentially, and it has some of the best artwork that I have ever seen. They actually hire these visual artists that look at the collection of music and then create these one-of-a-kind 
pieces of art that complements each mixtape each and every month. And I really like the fact that they curate from artists all across the globe. Having said that, it's going to be a wide range of artists and styles of music. Get ready to hear some indie rock, some indie pop, some alternative dance, electronic, even a lot of instrumentals. So buckle up, it's gonna be a lot of different types of music. There will be some months that you will like the records more, and some months you might like the record music selections less. But it is gonna be an incredible opportunity for you to get introduced to a lot of different artists that you probably have never heard of before. I wanna emphasize again, I'm not an audiophile snob. I really don't get hung up on this all analog path that you would traditionally have with a high fidelity, pressing on vinyl. I enjoy the fact that they've taken very good quality music, by the way it sounds amazing, and put those WAV files into this collection, press the, the disc, and then I get to actually have these mixtapes on vinyl. For me it's just fun. It's fun to play records on a turntable and listen to the music and consume music the way that people have consumed music for a hundred years. It's just a lot of fun. I have a pretty large record collection and I have lots of options to listen to on the weekends, but I can't state enough how much I've enjoyed my Vinyl Moon records and it's very exciting to get them each and every month. So, simple pleasures. Let's all see if we can slow down just a little bit and enjoy the ride. My wife's probably watching this. I'm sure she'll ask me if I plan on taking my own advice.